my daughter, Abigail, we had to go back to work about three months into it. And uh, it was an intense schedule. Mm -hmm. And I interviewed all kinds of people. I got recommendations. And I got a recommendation from someone for this incredible nanny. I know where this story is going, so yes. forgive me. <laughs> yes. And so she came in and was incredible. She would clean. She would take great care of our daughter. She was just wonderful and sweet and kind. And then, but I would go to work and I would come home at the end of the day and I would say to Angela, I would call Angela, I'd say to my husband, my baby smells like weed. And we, we never believed her. No. Because I would, you know, when I, I, like, she I don't smell anything. I don't mm -hmm. smell anything. I, you know, for instance, you know, there's that plant that kind of smells like marijuana that's out on this. I was like, maybe it's just the plant or you're being ridiculous. We tell, neither of us. And my husband ever. would be like, it's all in your head. It's that's in your all head. in your head. That's crazy. That's crazy. Month after month, right? Couple months go by. And <sighs> one day my husband comes home early from work and catches the nanny smoking marijuana. With the with the baby, yes. <laughs> not no. like not like she's giving the marijuana to the baby. No, no, that's not she, what no, I'm no, saying. No, 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 that's no, not no. what I'm saying. Not like no. that. Not like that. But, but like around her. But you know. here's the thing, and and of course we fired her, and took care of it, and what have you. But had we had a nanny cam, I think that well, I would have known about that much earlier. That's true. I would have known. But I do want to point out that Abby did just get all A's. <laughs> she did just get all A's. So what? It didn't. It didn't hurt. <laughs> I mean, you know, as far as we know. <laughs> But it is not ideal. It is it's not ideal. Not. It's not what it's we're looking not for. It's not ideal, you know? okay? <laughs> no. It's a deal breaker, yeah. I think. Yeah. I do think so. Yeah, but I thought I was crazy. I know. I we something didn't, was I, going we, on. Tom and I felt really bad because we seriously were like, I, don't, I was sniffing the baby. I don't smell anything. Yes. You know, and, and it's like, we know she, you were right. I was right, okay? I'm, but, I'm all for the nanny cam. <laughs> I'm just going to put it on front street. <laughs> Look, film, film me when I'm in your house, yeah. okay? I mean, not in the bathroom because that's just freaky and wrong. Yeah. But like... Uh, it's your house yeah, and it's yeah. your kid. It's yeah. the one thing, like, uh, I, you know, my mom always says, you can replace everything but that kid. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know, yeah. it's the most valuable thing in your life. And so I'm all for it. Yeah. But I know that some people think it's an invasion of privacy. Well, when parents put their children in the care of others, it is understandable that you are concerned about your child's safety, yeah. right? Some parents put hidden cameras in their homes to monitor their nannies and babysitters. But... Is it ethical for them to record them without giving cons without getting consent from them? Right. And if you do, are you breaking the law? Well, I, I'm. We're, that's why we're talking about this because to me, I you know I I felt that that was unethical. I felt that that would be weird. It made me made me feel strange to want to you know. Oh, uh, this may be an awkward time to tell you that I have cameras in my home. <laughs> No, I don't. <laughs> well, we wanted to hear some opinions on this, all right? So we sent our, our team out with cameras and asked, should you tell your child's babysitter or nanny that you have surveillance cameras installed? And here are some of the responses. Take a look. I would not tell my child's babysitter if I had nanny cams installed because if they were doing anything inappropriate, I would want to be able to catch them in the act. Oh, that's a good question. No? No. I wouldn't. Seriously, where do you get this nanny from? And uh, if you need a camera for it, just think about it. where did you get this nanny? Well, well, I mean, yeah. you did, dil I did extreme di diligence. I absolutely did, and she was. I mean, I pay. I was paying out the nose for this weed smoking nanny. Okay. <laughs> But you, at least you know where some of that money was going. <laughs> uh, joining us via Skype is someone who has personal experience with this topic, Candy Viana, a professional nanny for 25 years who says many of her employers have used nanny cams over the years. Welcome to Me Time, Candy. Hi, nice to meet you both. Thank you, yes, me too. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's okay for parents to secretly record the nanny? No, I don't think that secretly is uh, ethically correct. Mm -hmm. I do believe that parents can just say, we do have cameras in the house. As professional nannies, you're going to be in somebody's house, so you should be, be behaving in a certain way. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if the cameras are hidden or not. You exactly. still should be behaving the same way as you would if cameras were there. Right. But I don't, think it, I don't think it's a good way to start a relationship with the person who's looking after your children. Mm. Very good. Were you told by employers that they had cameras? Yes, yes I was. Um, I didn't ask at interview, but they, uh, they disclosed the information before they hired me. So I knew what, what I was getting myself into. How does it make you feel as a person who's caring for somebody's child? That does, it, does it set up a, a relationship of distrust immediately? 
No. Um, when I first started nannying, yes, I think I was quite immature in my profession. So I felt like, oh, why do they need to know what's going on? Mm-hmm. Um, but as time goes by, it doesn't really matter if they're watching or not, because you're just going by your day doing your normal things. Mm-hmm. And if they, want, if they want to check in, they're checking in on the child. They're most likely not checking in on the nanny, unless they have suspicions, like you did. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and that was an interesting story. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Well, we asked our our Facebook frangelistas, do you think having hidden cams across the line when it comes to invasion of privacy? 19% said yes. 81% said no. What do you think about that uh, poll result, Candy? Um, I I think it does invade your privacy. Um, I think if you know it's there, Mm -hmm. in a way, it gives you peace of mind. You know it's there. It protects you as much as it protects them. Because yeah, if, yeah. If, if a child is old enough to make up stories and says something or something happens to the child and it's just an accident, mm-hmm. it's all on camera. Yeah. So it's a protection for yourself. But not telling nannies that it's there is actually an invasion of, it, of their privacy. You, you know, it just isn't what should be happening. Yeah. And all, pro- all professions now are being recorded. Yes. But they all know about it. You know, yes. if you're a bank teller, you've got a camera above your head. If you're an Uber driver, you've got a camera in the car. We are all on camera, but we all know about it. Yeah. Right. We just found this out, that it's legal to install a nanny cam in all 50 states, even without consent. The exception is in your in private areas of your home, such as the bathroom <laughs> or the nanny's bedroom. Yeah, and yes. in some states, you do have to notify the nanny if you record audio and video. Mm, like, you right. can record, I guess, video everywhere, but if you're going to do both, right. or, uh, you have to in- inform yes. them. But any, And if you don't, I think any evidence of abuse or neglect found on that tape might be ruled inadmissible. Co- so it's not, you're not even going to protect yourself, you know, protect it if you no. do that. No. Mm. And in a way, you know, if you let the nanny know that there's a, that there's a camera there, if they were going to do something to your child, they probably won't do it. Yeah. Yeah, and I've had nannies accused of stealing things. Right. You know what I mean? So yes. it's like, the, I, I think what you're saying is true, that it can protect you. Yeah. Well, thank you yes. so much for joining us, Candy. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you. If you want to read more about Candy's nanny adventures, visit MeTimeWithFrangela.com to get a link to her blog. Now, if you're in the market for a nanny cam, there's a ton of cameras made to look like everyday objects. Our team went out to the local spy shop to see what they had to offer. Let's see if we can spot the hidden cameras on the video. Take a look. Let's okay. see. Spy shop. A thing in a shop. Mm-hmm. Okay, what's... That's camera well, those cameras. Are cameras. I know those that's a camera. That's a flashlight. Ooh, but it's a that's hidden a camera. camera. Oh! What? That's a clock. That's, that's a regular a clock. clock. No, 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 no. That's a camera. Oh, oh, I see it. Sneaky. I see it. Oh, that's, that's a watch your six. Get that's it? Watch your six. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> nice. Well, okay, is that a picture frame? What if frame? that's a frame? Oh, no. Does no. It, do people even have those anymore? Is that a... What is that? Yeah. yeah. Is that a VHS player? Yeah, that's just my... That's a day planner. What? In my Franklin planner? Right. Oh, uh, what's oh, that's, that? That's my cup. Oh, it's a thermos it's thingy. It's a thermos. Ooh. Yeah, oh, girl, Ooh, you know what? I, the camera's coming everywhere. Everywhere. Just cameras everywhere. Nah, I don't trust this space. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, there are four pointed directly at us. Meet time with Frangela.